Hey, welcome back. In my last video, I showed you how to use attack surface reduction rules in Windows to block credential dumping from LSAS. So now in this video, I wanna show you how to also block credential dumping using Microsoft Defender for Endpoint and Microsoft Defender Antivirus. So let's take a quick look. One quick note though, before we jump into it, is that this is not a substitute for credential guard and attack surface reduction rules. Remember, defense in depth, multiple layers. Okay, let's jump into demo. Stop. What I'm about to do is effectively hack my own system. Now what I'm doing is in a controlled lab environment that I own and I have full control over. Please do not try this at home. And if you do, I am not held liable for your actions. Okay, let's get back to the demo. Okay, so on my machine here, you can see I am running Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. There's the two processes. And if we go up to the Details tab in Task Manager, we're gonna find the LSAS.exe process. And I'm simply going to right click on it and I'm going to create a dump file. Now when I do this, it creates a dump file, but notice it automatically exits and then I get this little toast notification in the lower right hand corner. And if we look at this, it looks like Defender discovered something suspicious. So if we look at the details of that, we can see that Defender found some suspicious behavior. This program is dangerous and executes commands from an attacker. And then it gives you the path of this, uh, of where this dump file would have been located. So if we just browse out to that path, and I think I still have it up here. There we go and I just do a refresh on this directory. So if we browse out to that path, I do not see lsas.dmp. Uh, it is not there, and this is an alphabetical order. So it did stop that. Now, what I just showed you there from Task Manager is a living off the land attack. So now let's try to do this with proc dump. And so I've installed proc dump on my machine, and when I try to run it, look at that, access is denied. And then I get another toast notification letting me know that uh, it discovered something suspicious. There we go. This program has potential unwanted behavior and then it gives me the affected item. So it actually blocked it from dumping that memory to disk. Okay, so now let's go over to Defender for Endpoint and take a look at the results. Okay, so we're inside Microsoft 365 Defender, which as you know, is home to Defender for Endpoint, Defender for Identity, Defender for Office, and Microsoft Cloud App Security. I'm looking at my incidents, and this is creating incidents from across all of those products, and it's correlating alerts automatically and adding the alert to an incident. So here it found them all to be uh, relevant, and it added it to this main incident. And then from here, I can drill into the incident, and I can even go into alerts and start to view all of those individual alerts. So let's go ahead and uh, just choose this bottom one as an example, and let's take a look at it. So this is where I could walk the process stack, if you will, and see what was happening. So this is where I can look to see uh, information about that activity, uh, what was being performed, how it was classified. Uh, this is where it saw me trying to uh, open up a system level uh, process for the command prompt and then I ran a command and I noticed that it was a hack tool or classified as such and then immediately removed it was the remediation action and then this alert got generated and it was prevented. Uh, here you could see where I attempted to run another command from the demo. There you go and this was run, running using system level access and when I went to go run it, it also generated an alert that it detected uh, a credential dump. And if we scroll through this, this is where we could see some of those additional tests and what was happening. Now, if I click on the name of the device here and we look at the device page for just a moment, and on the device page, we take a look at timeline. Here we could see a little red chevron uh, being pointed and that's where, it, that's where an alert got generated. So I'm gonna click on it and then it's gonna show me all the surrounding events for that activity. So this is where I use Task Manager to uh, do the, the dump, uh, and this is giving me more information about what happened there. Uh, I can even uh, hunt for related events, which is nice because that allows me to use a KQL query to go out and look to see, okay, is this type of activity happening anywhere else in the environment? So the system automatically writes the query for me, and now it's running. 
and it's just going to let me know if I found it anywhere else in the environment. So that's actually pretty handy. Uh, if we look through this a little bit here, uh, this is where, you know, again, I, I tried to do the, the dump. So you get the idea, right? Here's where I tried to run uh, some of those other commands. Again, I can hunt for related events and it actually will write a query for me in advanced hunting. So there's the results. Now, I like doing this for many reasons, but one of the reasons is because you can create a detection rule. Now, this is really cool because uh, this is where I can say detect, um, whoops, detect cred dump and run the, run the query maybe every hour. Um, we'll give it an alert title. Uh, severity is high. Category is credential access. I'm just going to put test in the description box. Uh, and then from there, I can check the box here for device. Uh, I'm just going to leave it at the defaults for now. And do device name. And then actions to take. Well, on devices, I could tell it to isolate the device. Uh, I can tell it to run an antivirus scan, do all sorts of stuff. I mean, that's pretty cool, right? Uh, so, and generate an alert and notify me. So that's why I like advanced hunting. If we go back to the, the device timeline view, again, you get the idea. I can see everything that's happening, but this is where you really wanna use this story view for the alerts and the incidents to help you in your, your triaging. But folks, that's what it looks like when you attempt to do credential dumps from memory when Defender for Endpoint and Defender Antivirus are running on a machine. It gets blocked, it gets prevented, it gets detected, it shows up here and then all the data is available and you can go to town on it. Okay, so uh, we've got more videos coming, so please feel free to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you found value in this. If you didn't, hey, that's okay too. And uh, if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments. I'll do my best to answer it and we'll see you all the next video. Take care.